The sturgeon full moon in the sign of Aquarius, darling. It's here, baby, okay? August 19th. Now, there's already things that are going on that is in correlation with this full moon in the sign of Aquarius, okay? And because it is happening in Aquarius, it's, it's going to be a lot of twists and turns and sudden changes and here, here, and then you're there, and this is going on, and surprise here, and shocking news. That, that's, that's Aquarius energy. Ask an Aquarius, okay? It's, it's always, do, 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 okay? Aquariuses are ruled by Uranus. So for this full moon, you want to go and find Uranus, okay? Uranus, Uranus, everyone. You're going to make sure that you find the ruler, okay, of the sign of Aquarius, okay, which is Uranus, 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 however you want to pronounce his name, okay? Now, Uranus is in the sign of Taurus right now, okay? So this full moon, especially being that Taurus and Aquarius are both fixed signs, okay? Fixed signs, air signs, you guys are going to be feeling this full moon the most, especially if you have a fixed sign in your big three or you have Aquarius in your big three, okay? Polar opposite of Aquarius is Leo, okay? So you can also check that area of your chart as well just to see a little bit more about what's going on, okay? You want to check your birth chart, you want to check your solar return chart, okay? Because that solar return chart is, is working with your current energy that you have as of your last solar return. Okay, as of your last birthday. So let's say your birthday was on August 5th, okay? You have a new chart for that specific year. And you have your birth chart that you were born with, but you also have a solar return chart, okay? So check those two for more insights. Again, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You guys will be feeling this full moon the most, okay? Again, especially if you have it in your big three, sun, moon, or rising, okay? Now, this full moon in the sign of Aquarius, being that this is a sturgeon moon, okay, there is some sort of culmination. There is some sort of great catch, okay? That's why it's called a sturgeon moon because of the, the fishes that are able to pop up and how people are able to go and capture them. And it's like a huge abundance of them, okay? Now, especially with the rule of Aquarius, Uranus being in the sign of Taurus, Taurus rules money, okay? Taurus is your possessions. Taurus is the materialistic world energies, okay? The news and energy. Venus is in Virgo right now. So it's it's a beautiful dance right now that's going on, okay? With the stars, with the runs, with the planets, as above, so below, so below, as above, as within, so without, so without, as within, okay? Okay. You may be cutting off friends. You may be uh, hanging out with new friends. Okay. You may be deciding to go somewhere. And do something. Listen, if them relationships, if them friendships just ain't meshing and it's, it seems like it's running its course, it's time to let them go. Okay, that full moon it's it's gonna bring about that. Okay, some of you guys are gonna be getting let go. Some of you guys are gonna be starting new opportunities, new new you know uh, jobs and new. Remember that full moons are a time for releasing, for letting go. Okay, definitely pay attention. Um, slow down. That's also gonna be a really big thing that you need to do surrounding this full moon that's happening in the sign of Aquarius because of that that energy. Okay, now. Uranus being in Taurus, okay, you may be deciding, okay, I just, I don't like eating this stuff anymore, right, or I'm not going to spend like this anymore, like, there may be certain habits that are changing with inside of you, within your paradigm, okay, which is, which is a huge plus, okay, the full moon in Aquarius is, is again, it wants you to let go, okay, and, and really learn, to, because Aquarian energy brings about unconventional changes and, and shakeups, okay, disruption, chaos, upheavals, and Aquarius is community energy, this could be something just as, oh my God, something happens in the street on your way home, you know, in your neighborhood, and now all of a sudden they have to do a lot of work in that area, full moon in Aquarius, okay, people are getting, you know, passing on full moon in Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and mention, I did not look into his birth chart yet, but Beat King, okay, the rapper, the famous rapper, Club Godzilla from, from Tisa, Texas, okay, shout out to my city, um, his passing, right? It was a shakeup to the community. It was it was sudden, right? It was unexpected, something that you didn't see coming. He did his music, things like that, okay? That was club energy, which is also community, which would be Aquarius energy from a community point of view. The party more so is Pisces energy, okay? Now, being that this full moon is happening on moon day, okay? They're, they're just, just trust to know that the energy, the emotions, whatever needs to be, let go of, let it go. Whatever certain emotions are hitting you, they're asking you to sit with yourself, okay? Feel those emotions, address them, figure out where they're coming from, and let them go and release them, okay? It's all a part of the divine plan. Now,